This science is, I have not only seen work on you, I've seen it work on myself. When I have had COVID, what I did is I fasted all day and then I had one meal a day and I had it basically a huge salad with lots of greens in it, bringing up that plant diversity like I've taught you guys and I moved through it within five days. So which diet and fast is best for COVID? On this video, I am going to answer this. So Dr. Mindy here, and if you are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. I'm a woman on a mission to get a million people fasting. I think you'll find as you go through my channel here, there is science after science after science showing the principles of fasting can start to heal the human body. So welcome. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification, and those of you that share these videos out, so grateful for you. Okay, I got three studies for you. One of them is brand new, and they're all relate to diet and fasting around COVID. The brand new study is a huge study put out September, 20, uh, September 21st, 2021. So this is like a fresh study depending upon when you're watching this video. And it was done on a lot of people and it was specifically around one style of eating. So I wanna unpack this. Let's start first with the diet and this new study. So it was published in the journal Gut, uh, September 21, told you that. It was done on over 500,000 people. So what they did is they looked at over 500,000 people. I can't tell you how hard it is to find a study on this many people. So it was an observational study, by the way. And so they looked at these people from March 2020 to December 2020. And what they found of these 500,000, over 500,000 people, and by the way, 31,000 of them got COVID. So we have some people in the study that actually got COVID. And what they found is that you had a 50% lower risk of getting COVID if you ate a very specific diet. Are you ready for the diet? And there's a lot of nuance here. So let me start up with the diet first and then we'll go into the details. It was a high, this is their words, high plant-based foods. This doesn't mean the whole diet was plant-based. It just meant that people who ate more plants, this is fruits and vegetables, primarily vegetables, had a 50% less risk of getting COVID. And how they looked at it is they actually had people report what they were eating. They had a plant-based diet score so that they could score people's eating of vegetables, their plant-based habits. And they found the ones that ate more vegetables, they had less risk of getting COVID. Pretty cool, right? It gets even better. If when I dove into the study, there were some incredible quotes from the head of the study, and I just got to read it to you. This is what the head of the study said. A third of all COVID cases would have been prevented if diet was addressed. They even went on to say our findings are a call to the governments and the stakeholders to prioritize healthy diets and well-being with impactful policies. Okay. As far as I see, I, this is September 20, or no, October 21, 2021, I'm doing this. As far as I can see, we are still not talking about the impact of diet on the severity of COVID symptoms. So now you guys know, you know that it is a plant-based diet, a higher, didn't, they didn't say don't eat meat, they said increase your plants. If you guys wanna know more about that, I did a whole podcast, Resetter podcast with Emrin Mayer, um, who wrote The Gut Immune Connection, super fascinating. You can go and, and learn more about that. Okay, so now we know plant-based. We wanna increase more vegetables. Now let's go into fasting. Well, we've got a couple of studies that are really interesting about the concepts of autophagy around COVID. So the first was put out in June, 2021, and what they found that's so sneaky about COVID is that it shuts down autophagy. So I want you to remember that even though we talk a lot about autophagy fasting, 
that autophagy is a normal mechanism that your body will stimulate in order to get rid of things like viruses, bacteria, and other pathogens. And why COVID is so sneaky is it'll go into these cells, it'll shut it down so that it can replicate faster. So we know we got to stimulate autophagy and get autophagy going so that those, that virus cannot replicate. So the second study, and I'm going to leave all these studies in the notes that came out in October, 2020. So I've done videos on this, lots of them, but I'm going to point it out again. This second study showed that intermittent fasting, this is a quote from the study that intermittent fasting has been reported to not only promote health benefits, but it primes the immune response by stimulating autophagy. So now we've got two major in indications, two major studies showing us that we can use diet and we can use fasting to take back control of our immune system over the situation at hand, over COVID. We don't have to fear. We can go into empowerment. And how this looks is we want to lean into more plants and we want to lean into more fasting. So let me kind of put this all together for you. So the first really good question, and I know you guys ask this all the time, so I'm going to keep talking about it, is how long do you have to fast for autophagy? And here's the tricky part, is it's different for everybody. If you are really fat adapted, you've been fasting a lot longer for a longer period of time, there's a good chance that you stimulate autophagy at 15, maybe even 13 hours of fasting. If you're new to fasting, it may take you as long as 17 hours. There's some research showing that it can even take over 24 hours for autophagy to kick in. So here are the guidelines that I use. With autophagy, we look at it like a dimmer switch. So you're slowly turning on autophagy at about 17 hours. That's the point in which that dimmer switch gets turned on. So the, and these are, this is broad guidelines. I just want to remind you that. At 24 hours, you are at full force autophagy. There, it doesn't matter if you've never fasted before or you are a fasting phenom. It doesn't matter. At 24 hours, we're seeing autophagy in full force. At 48 hours, some believe that autophagy peaks, that you hit that point where it's at, and, and this is based off science, that it will peak. I'll leave, the, I'll leave the link to that study in the notes and then it will start to come down after 48 hours. I have seen other science showing that at 72 hours, it will peak. So I like to look at autophagy somewhere between 17 and 72 hours. So let's go to you and let's look at putting this all together. If you're in a scenario where somebody around you has COVID, let's just go into action and let's do at least 17 hours of fasting every day. And let's, when you break your fast, let's just up, uh, let's bring more plants into your diet. More, mostly vegetables, a little bit of fruits. I would even do the lower glycemic fruits like berries and the green apples. I wouldn't do a lot of the high, trop, high sugar fruits like the tropical fruits. So keep, we, we know that we need to keep the blood sugar down. So doing that 17 hour fast and then increasing vegetables, that would be a really good trick if people around you had COVID. Now, if you actually have COVID, one strategy you might try is a little longer fasting. So 24 hour fast, maybe you go on a three day water fast. I've seen some great evidence from all of you that have had, if you've had COVID, you've had great experience moving through COVID quickly with these longer fasts. So if you actually are symptomatic, you may fast a little longer. And then when you eat, let's make sure that you're eating more vegetables. Last thing I want to say, this science is, I have not only seen work on you, I've seen it work on myself. When I have had COVID, what I did is I fasted all day and then I had one meal a day and I had it basically a huge uh, uh, salad with lots of greens in it bringing up that plant diversity like I've taught you guys, and I moved through it within five days. I actually on one day decided to try 
not fasting and eating all day, and I had more symptoms on that day than when I fasted, I found the symptoms went down, moved through COVID in five days, and it, it was like the flu. It felt like the flu to me. So if you have COVID, you could try that trick. If you're around people who have COVID, you could try that trick as well. So you have more power than you're being taught. Science is showing it. People in our community are proving it. I proved it in my own situation. So I bring this to you to let you know that fear is going to suppress your immune system. Anger is going to suppress your immune system. It is time for us to take our power back and we do that by changing what we eat and when we eat and now we are immune strong. So put in the notes, I just wanna know if you have used these principles either with COVID or you were around people who had COVID and th what I'm saying worked for you, put it in the notes so that we can uh, all learn from your experience. And you guys, if you wanna know more about how to use food and fasting, join my academy. This is the nuance we're going into. I just the other day did a whole video just on the bacteria in our gut that causes cravings. And I talk about all the foods we need to eat to overcome cravings. I just did that course and video for my group in the academy. So if you wanna go deeper into this information, just put Reset Academy in the comments and my team will come in and share a link for that. But do not give up on yourself. You are crazy powerful. And it's just you haven't been taught. So now you're learning it. Now you can em embody it and go out and teach others. And as always, you guys rock, and I hope this helps.